academy youtube channel for another interesting tutorial so if you are new to this channel please kindly subscribe turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day like this video share to family and friends drop your comment on the comment section and your suggestions as well so to begin this tutorial i just want to start this afresh okay from the scratch we are making a princess that bustier drafting okay and i've been introducing to you how to make your princess that perfectly with an armhole tightening and an under bust tightening for a perfect fit so now i have my border lines this is my shoulder this is the center front so the lines i need for my armhole princess that are I'm just making a half scale I'm hope princess that so I'll just go ahead and impute my uh, chest line so my chest line is 9 inches my bust point is 10.5 my under bust is 10 and my front length is 17 inches that is for the front okay so I'll quickly roll my line across this way so these are the lines I need. These are the lines I need. My shoulder, my chest, the bust point, on the bust point, and my waist line. So now the how to determine your chest line, okay? You'll be using your round bust circumference divided by six plus one point five. That will give you the line of your chest line so i have um, my bust divide by my bust circumference divide by six plus 1.5 i have eight inches plus one inch drop so i'll just go ahead now and make my neckline i'm using three by three for my um, neckline okay so three inches by three inches So, so 3 inches by 3 inches is not for every bust, um, bust size. So if your bust, whatever your bust is, simply divide it by 12. Whatever you have, just impute it here and here to get your neckline. So from the center front, I'm taking my shoulder measurement, divide by 2. I have 7 and half. Then I'll come down by 1 inch. And I'm going to draw my one inch line. So my what I have on my shoulder, I'll transfer the shoulder divide by two on this line. And then I'm going to mark a straight line. So you can see the chest line. The calculation of the chest line with my bust divide by six. Bust divided by 6 plus 1.5, I have 8 inches. So from the shoulder drop, you measure your 8 inches. So I added 1 inch to it, making it 9 inches when I, I drafted by vertical lines. So I'll place my tape right here, find the midpoint for my armhole. And I'll go in 0 0.75 and connect. So on the chest line, I'm going to take the measurement of my bust circumference divided by 4, and I have 10 inches, I'll mark. Then I'm going to complete my armhole. So I'm completing my armhole right now. This is my armhole. So next, I'll come to my waistline to complete this process. But before I do that, my bust pan or nipple to nipple measurement on the bust line, I have my nipple to nipple as 3.5. That is 7 inches divided by 2, 3.5. I'll mark the 3.5 here once again. And I'm going to draw a straight line to that point. So my dart intake, I'm making use of 1.5. When I share it, I'll have 0 0.75 here, 0 0.75. And the both of them will give me 1.5. 
So now I'm going to take the measurement of my waist, circumference divided by 4, which is 9 inches. I'll mark, and this is one and half, which is my dart. I'll replace it right here. So make sure you replace your dart. So here, I'm going to do what? Connect from that point to this. So here I have my basic bodies. So my boss dart is 2 inches. Of course, you know how we get our boss that so you can watch our tutorials on basic bodies pattern so you'll be able to know how to determine your accurate boss that so i'll come out here by 0 0.75 and connect and take it back there for my bust accommodation so that is how to make this. So for the armhole princess drafting i'm going to teach you in this tutorial with armhole tightening this is how to go about it okay so this is a mid armhole and from this mid armhole i'm going to connect my princess that the normal way we do connect it using my pattern ruler can you see that so this is my bust point and this is the mid armhole so i just go ahead and connect my armhole princess that okay so now the next thing we want to do is to come down we are going to come down from that point to tighten the armhole from this point we'll come down by 1.5 now once i come down by 1.5 i'm going to place my armhole uh, curve so you can see how i'm placing my curve from here, I'll come down to that point. And from the armhole, I will extend by 1.5. So I came down by 1.5 and placed my curve. And from here, I'm going to extend the accommodation by 1.5. So from that point, I'll, I'll position my ruler to the armhole. And then I connect. So... This is the tightening we have right now. This is the armhole tightening. So at this point, we have tightened the armhole. So this shaded part, I'm going to cut it off. Okay, so we'll be using it to tighten our armhole. So now the next thing we want to do is from this center front, I'm going to take my under bust tightening. And to achieve that also, we've been using it in this tutorial most often, if you have been following us in this class. So from the center front on the under bust line, I'm placing my tape. I'll be taking my under bust, under bust measurement, okay? Have to be taken very firmly. Whatever you have on your under bust measurement, divide it by 4. So for me, I have 8.75. And what I have left from here to here is 1.25. So I'll put 1.0.25. That is a quarter here and one inch on this part. Okay. And with this, you have a perfect bust contouring. So I place my pattern ruler. I believe you are taking note of how my pattern ruler is placed. I'll go this way. I'll flip it this way. As you can see, that way. Then I'll go ahead and connect back to my that line. So for you to achieve this under bust tightening perfectly, you need to use your 1.5 inch that. Okay, it works very perfectly well to snatch your or tighten your under bust. So by the time you take your under bust, you have something left to share in between these spaces. 0.25 goes in this way on this part of the dart no matter your boss size and the rest of it goes this way and you have a perfect boss snatching so this is how to go about it so here you can see the shaded area is the part that is going to be cut, uh, cut off so i've used this dart to contour the under bust and I use this to contour the armhole princess that so right now I'm going to cut out my pattern right now and how that is how to go about your armhole princess that so this class is 
just to show you how to go about the tightening of the armhole and tightening of um, your underboss to have a perfect armhole princess that of course we have so many methods of going about it but this class we are using it to do this so i'll be cutting so we'll be able to close our boss that so whatever you want to do on the upper area or whatever you want to use this pattern to do to make your done right now so all i'm going to do is to cut my pattern and then close up my bust that so i'll just go into my bust accommodation and i'm going to cut through the armhole so this is the new armhole the part i'm cutting right now and that is why i'm cutting it for you to see so i just go ahead and cut my neckline so if you are making a total neckline that is it for you you can go ahead and use your 3x3. Three three. So here, I'm going to cut into this. So these are the darts. My darts I'm going to cut, which will contour the princess that can you see that can you see so the armhole so i've taken off the that just like we have in the over bust um, that so i'm going to close up my bust that right now so i'll just go ahead and close up my Bust. So my boss that here is closed. All right, so this is it, and this is the armhole. So by the time you sew this, you can see that. So you have your armhole princess that, okay? So by the time you go ahead and sew from this point that way to this way, you can see that. So that is how to go about it. So this is what we took off for the tightening. So that is the end of this tutorial and i believe you also learned a lot in this class so if you are new to this channel please kindly subscribe turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day like this video share to family and friends drop your comment on the comment section and your suggestions as well thank you for coming see you in the next class bye